I just wanted to take a second to introduce my um, entrepreneurial dream team. These are the folks, um, the 10 entrepreneurs that I've written about on my blog, um, who have inspired me in some way in my development as an entrepreneur. And some of them I know personally, and some of them I don't, or I've just been acquaint acquaintances with. But um, at any rate, something that they've done has impressed me to the point where it's changed the way that I think about entrepreneurship or um, open up opportunities for me, and I want to just take a second to appreciate them for that, and also to let them know what it, what exactly it is that I um, do um, admire about what they're doing. So the first one on my list is Paul Allen. This is not um, the Paul Allen you've all heard about. This is Paul Allen from Utah. He calls himself Paul in the lesser, so I can say that. But um, Paul started a company called Provo Labs, and I had the privilege to um, get taught into that community, and that opened the doors for me in terms of becoming a geek and getting into the tech community and making some fantastic friendships. And um, I had read about Paul in an, in an article in the magazine in Utah and um, what the environment that he had been cultivating impressed me and I wanted to be a part of it and I appreciate Paul so much for um, setting up that environment. And he's done some bold things. Um, sometimes his projects work and sometimes they don't and I appreciate that he continues to go forward and that motivates me um, when when things that I do don't work out so well. So, um, The next one on my list is Paul Graham. He runs um, an incubator for young tech entrepreneurs called Y Combinator. He also has a forum called um, news.ycombinator.com, and it's just got fantastic little articles about business and the Silicon Valley environment and things. And I appreciate what Paul's doing with um, young tech entrepreneurs. I wish that I were more geeky and a couple years younger so that I could um, really kind of dig into that. But. Um, the next one on my list is Mr. Josh Coates. He is um, the CEO of a company called Mosey, or Berkeley Data Systems, and they have a product called Mosey. And um, Josh is a character, and we had the opportunity to meet him when we took our, our interns down from Rexburg to meet with him this summer. And uh, a couple weeks later, he um, his company was acquired, and it was just a fantastic local success story of, um, of developing a quality product and getting investment and providing a return on that investment. It was fantastic for me to be able to see that firsthand. I appreciate Josh for, um, for his role in, in developing that company and, and, and setting that. I think that every entrepreneur needs to have good examples of companies that have done well that they can aspire to, and so I appreciate Josh for that. Next one on my list is Brock Blake. He's the CEO of a company in Utah called Funding Universe, and um, I just love Funding Universe. They work with entrepreneurs to help them really understand what it is in the funding process that they need to do to prepare to meet with an investor, to have a decent business plan, and to um, really be savvy about what, what they're doing when they're trying to acquire funds for um, starting their businesses. And um, I admire Brock because he's a young guy and he's so ambitious, and um, I can't even think of if he's already doing great stuff now, what's he going to be doing in 10 years? So. Um, the next one on my list is uh, Patricia Norens. She is one of the entrepreneurs in the Entrepreneur's Story, and I appreciate Patricia because um, she um, heard about me with the $100 business, um, the kiosk, and they did a, a really nice article about me in their, in their publication, and then invited me and Rochelle to come out and speak at their convention. And um, I had the opportunity to sit down with Patricia and have a very wonderful conversation. She was so encouraging to me um, at a time when I really didn't feel like I was going to go anywhere as an entrepreneur, and I appreciate her support, and um, I admire what she does, the growth that she's having in her company, and I would just love to hear more about her story. Um, next on my list is um, Oprah. You know, I'm not sure that most people would think of Oprah as an entrepreneur, but I certainly do. Um, she's built an amazing company that has such a global reach, and um, even now for her to be setting the example, to be giving back, particularly with the schools that she's developing, um, down in Africa, Leadership Academies for Girls, and also um, I think it's fantastic that she started the Oprah Magazine. Um, I actually get the Oprah Magazine, and I love it, and um, I love how she's just doing something in one medium and then another medium, and just kind of um, branching out, and even to be continually ambitious, even when you've already reached a very um, admirable level of success. It's just fantastic. Um, next one on my list is um, Hugh McCloud, he um, he he draws business he draws cartoons on the backs of business cards, and that's it. That's what he does, and I just love that. Um, it's inspiring to me that he is doing something that he likes, and that it makes him happy, and that he doesn't doesn't I don't know. It's just a simple concept, and it keeps him going, and and I admire that, and I appreciate that. Um, 
I, I don't have to go far beyond what I really like. If there's something that I like doing that's simple, maybe I should just do that. So, thanks, um, you. The next one on my list is Linda Wells. She, um, I met her at an MBA um, event down in um, Salt Lake for Stanford. Um, she is on, I guess, on the staff at Stanford, and um, she, when I was talking to her, she kept talking about Utah, and then she talked about Stanford, and I couldn't figure out, she live in Utah or she live in Stanford? Like, where, where does she live? And, um, but I guess she lives in Park City, works um, running the Entrepreneur Center at Stanford two days a week, and I just love that story. It was so inspirational. I just heard her, um, met with her a couple um, months ago, and it's really changed my thinking about how I could um, build a a job or a, a, a company that could support my lifestyle depending on, you know, where do I want to be? And maybe having kind of a combination thing, like one well, here part of the time. I just love that example. So I appreciate that, Linda. And I'm sure that in her work with entrepreneurs that um, she has heard some fantastic stories. So um, anyway, that's Linda Wells. The next one on my list is Marina Martin. Marina is a young entrepreneur. She is a full-time consultant and she does efficiency consulting, which is the coolest job ever. She basically goes in there and helps people understand um, how they can be more effective in what they're doing, um, what what's slowing them down, where they can cut costs. And I just admire that because uh, as an entrepreneur, like it's hard enough to run your company and have someone um, that's willing and has the skills to come in and really evaluate what you're doing and, and kind of help you know where, where you can streamline things. It's just invaluable. And plus, she's she's quite a few younger, years younger than I am, and I just admire that she's already accomplishing so much, and I want to know why and how, and um, I just think she's fabulous, so that's Marina. The last one on my list is um, Heather Armstrong. Heather runs a website called Deuce.com. She's a blogger down in Utah, and she um, lost her job because of her blog, and um, just decided that she was going to run with it, and she has very excellent um, tech skills, and design skills, and she has a wonderful writing style, particularly in a very conservative um, state, and I admire her for that, and I'm fascinated with the fact that she's doing something that she likes, and it's supporting her family, and she's running with it, so um, I would love to hear Heather's story. Um, so these are the 10 people that are on my dream team of entrepreneurs, people that have inspired me, and that I would just love to hear more about how they got started and why. Um, I'll be sending each one of them um, a copy of the entrepreneur story. This, oh, this is the first official copy I just printed off today. The book is available on the website um, now. Today's the first day it's out. It's the entrepreneurstory.com. And, um, you know, we're, we're doing this, um, every entrepreneur has a story um, kind of theme, partly to promote the book, obviously. It's, you know, it's launch day, but also because you know, I've read these stories dozens of times over the past year as I've been editing them, and every time I read the story, I learn something. And every time I think about these people on my dream team that have inspired me in entrepreneurship, um, there's little things that they've done or that they know or that they've written or said about business that affect the way that I think about the projects that I start. And, um, and for the positive, what they've done or what they've learned from, I learn from. And so I appreciate that from you guys. And I hope that if you have any time at all that you'd be willing to share your story, you can um, write it on your blog, send me an email, give me a phone call. Um, you can send it into theentrepreneurstory.com slash your story, whatever you want. I would just love to hear more of your story, and I'm sure um, some of our entrepreneurs and people that are going to be reading the book would love to hear it as well. So, again, I appreciate you for the contribution that you've made to um, my development as an entrepreneur. and. Um,